I've been here for seven years and come back and see areas that I planted seven years ago. The trees are as tall as you and I. You know, going out and seeing areas that we've planted and seeing wildlife moving in. It's very great work. I've got a kind of deep connection to the forest. I'm Josh Leduc with the U.S. Forest Service on the Hiawatha National Forest. So the history of this area is that it was extensively logged in the turn of the century prior to 1900. A lot of these areas were burned and became pretty open. And this area was planted to spruce plantations sometime in the 1960s. In this plantation, there was this thing called spruce budworm. And it works from the top of the tree down, feeding on the fresh buds and eventually starting to kill the tree. Well, in some of these plantations, we had another one working from the bottom up, which was called rhizosphera. And it's a needle cast disease that actually thrives in these types of plantation environments. This spruce site was salvage harvest to capture the volume before any more mortality happened in this stand. This year, we're having around 402 acres restored for a total of 272,000 trees. That is made up of mostly red pine and white pine, and with some jack pine and hemlock mixed in. One tree planted was gracious enough to give us some money to purchasing these seedlings that we have here today. It's a part of the puzzle. Every little bit counts.